Greetings lovelies, hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another Emmy Eats. Today I'll be in the country of Chile or Chile. So I received this package a little while ago from Little Miss M and she sent this very sweetly wrapped package. So for those of you that don't know where Chile or Chile is, it's located in South America. And let's go ahead and get started. That's me. And here's a little note. Cookie Classica. And this is made by the company McKay, which doesn't sound very Chilean. So I should mention that the last time Little Miss M went home to Santiago, she brought me back all these treats. So thanks so much for thinking of me and filling up your suitcase with more snacks for me to try. Very cute, diminutive size cookie. Itadakimasu. Mmm! It reminds me of those cookies that my mom used to get. They came in a tin and they were called Danish cookies. I don't know if that's a misnomer, if they're really Danish cookies or not but it was an assortment of kind of buttered cookies. That's what this tastes like. It doesn't really taste that much of like a chocolate chip cookie, although there is chocolate in there. It's sort of a cross between a Nello wafer and a chocolate chip cookie. It's good. I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Whew, I love sneezing. I think there's, there's some real satisfaction in a good sneeze, like when it makes your eyes water. Love that. Okay, let's continue. Okay, Morocha cookies pie again, okay. Oh, cute! They're small, dipped cookies. And they remind me a little bit of grasshopper cookies by E.L. Fudge here in the United States, but I don't think these are mint. Let's give them a taste. Morocha. Hmm. I'm very similar. Mm hmm. Good. Really light coating of milk chocolate, very thin, not really brittle chocolate, with a vanilla cookie base inside. And the texture is exactly the same as grasshoppers, but there's no minty flavor. And of course the chocolate is milk chocolate rather than dark chocolate. Nice and small and not overly cloying or sweet. Quite good, morocha. This is called guaguitas. She says guaguitas are quite old. They originated, they came onto the market in 1932. So they've been around for quite a while, and they're a marshmallow snack. So I thought they were like little fingers, but little Miss M says they're actually supposed to represent babies. <laughs> a marshmallow baby, how grim. <laughs> so they're different colors. There's pink, yellow, and here's a pink one. Now this one looks a little bit more like a baby. Can you see that with its arms crossed? <laughs> she says she knows it's creepy, but they're really good. Okay, let's give them a try. I'm gonna eat the little pink one. Sorry, baby. Itadakimasu. Mmm! To me, that's more like a gummy, but not quite as fluffy as the marshmallows that we have here in the States. And maybe not as sweet. It definitely has a very subtle kind of fruity flavor and a nice kind of chew. It's, I would say, more of a hybrid of a marshmallow and a like a gummy snack. Marshmallows in the first place aren't my favorite, so nothing against guaguitas, but I love the concept of eating baby marshmallows. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> I think I had a snack mix that was from New Zealand that had a little baby gummy in it too. Yeah, so it's definitely an international thing. It's not just Chileans that eat baby marshmallows. <laughs> marshmallows are actually quite popular in Japan, just the regular marshmallows, and they're also often flavored, fruity flavors, strawberry, lemon, um, and they tend to be kind of round and sometimes injected with a little bit of flavored gel. Yeah, just a little Japan fact. Let's continue. Car name, isn't there a, a Volkswagen car named Tareg? Galletas rellenas con crema de coco natural. So it sounds like a coconut cream filled cookie. It smells very coconutty. And there it is, it's a little sandwich cookie. Mmm. The cookie itself is a bit like a hybrid between a shortbread and a sugar cookie. And the middle is just kind of a cream that you would find in the middle of, say, like an Oreo cookie, but scented with coconut. It's nice. Not overly strong. I like it. So Little Miss M tells me that this is the most popular or famous chocolate bar in Chile. And it's called the Super 8 by Nestle. So we have Nestle here in the States, but I've never seen a Super 8. Well, I have found this in nearly every country, it seems to have a version of like a wafer chocolate bar. 
Anyways, let's give that a taste. Mm-hmm. And it seems like every country has a slight variation on it. Outside is a very thin, thin, thin layer of chocolate. And inside is maybe five or six layers of wafer cookie. And in between, I think, is something sweet, maybe dulce de leche or caramel. So it has a caramelly flavor. Mostly you taste that wafer flavor. Good, I like it. Kind of a light candy bar as opposed to being very heavy and overly sweet. Yeah, super eight. It's great. I'm a poet and I don't even know it. <laughs> so she says panturuka soup is a type of pasta to eat with soup, especially in the winter or on rainy days. Wow, where was this like two months ago? We, we're having gorgeous weather today, just gorgeous. I have to get out. After I do this video, I'm outside. I need some vitamin D. A cookie called Frak. Classica. Look at that beautiful pattern. So it looks like a sandwich cookie and it smells a lot like an Oreo. Mmm. Mmm. I want a glass of milk. The cookie portion has the same flavor and crunch as an Oreo cookie. The only difference is the middle, cream, isn't vanilla flavored. It's slightly cocoa flavored. And it's good. Negrita. So let's give that a taste. How cute. It's embossed and it says Nestle. And it's dipped in chocolate. Mmm. Same kind of cookie base as this Taurag cookie. That kind of a little bit shortbread sandy kind of cookie with the cream filling. Of course this is coconut flavored. This is vanilla. Very thin coating of chocolate. So it has a bit of that chocolate glazed donut flavor to it. It's good. That is called a negrita. Sunny or suni. Oh look at that. Very pale kind of tan in color. Kind of lozenge. Let's see if I can bite it. Oh yeah! Mmm! Mm-hmm. It's good. Nice kind of caramelly, slightly butterscotchy flavor. It's very similar in texture than some of the candies that I had in Poland and Russia. The Polish treat was called krofki. Initially it's quite crumbly, but then as you chew it, it warms up and turns more into a taffy. It's really good. Not really a taffy, I would say more of a caramel. This is called sapito. Sapito has a little frog on it. Maybe it's peanut flavored? Adorable. This is shaped like a little frog. <laughs> this reminds me a lot of a snack that I had from Denmark, only because it's shaped like an animal. And in Denmark, it was shaped like a turtle. Was it shaped like a turtle? Yes. And I also had a Freddo, which I believe they have both in the UK and Australia, which is shaped like a frog, but more of a animated frog. This looks more just like a frog. And by the bottom, it looks like it might be a Rice Krispie. All right, let's chop its head off and find out. Mmm. It's milk chocolate that's filled with Rice Krispie treats, and it has a peanut butter flavor in it. I don't detect any actual peanut chunks in there. It has a definite peanut flavor, so it's like a little bit different than a typical crunch bar or crackle bar. The last one's made by the company Costa. And it's called Doblon. This one broke, so I'm gonna take a little piece of it. By the looks of it, very similar. But it smells very different. Let's give it a taste, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, this has more of an eggy, custardy rum flavor, while the other one had just more of a straight up vanilla flavor. And the texture of this is much crunchier and a little drier. The cream layer doesn't seem to be as distinct as in the other one. They're both good, just quite different. Thanks again, little Miss M, for sending me these treats all the way from Germany and for thinking of me on your trip back to Santiago. I really appreciate it and it was really enjoyable, thanks. And thanks you guys for watching. I wouldn't be here without you. I hope you guys enjoy that and I hope you guys learned something and I'll see you in my next video. Toodaloo, take care, bye. So it looks like it's a three-step process. Pour in the white chocolate, the miso ame, mix. The baby has successfully tamed the wild cheetah. Is that cheetah or a leopard?